you've probably heard of Bitcoin and people may have heard of the word blockchain. But what a lot of people don't realize is they're two different things. So the best way to kind of understand it uh, in nice, simple terms is if you imagine uh, the Internet. So everyone's pretty familiar with what the Internet is. So the Internet is a baseline. I'll put my hands here so you can see me a little uh, baseline technology. And on top of that baseline cool technology sits Amazon, eBay, Microsoft, Facebook, loads of different companies that perform totally different business services, but they all use the technology of the internet to function. Um, similarly, the blockchain um, is this cool underlying technology that loads of different crypto companies sit on top of. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zencash, Zcoin, Ravencoin, all these you know, thousands and thousands of different coins, companies, and projects. So what a lot of people don't realize is what the actual blockchain is. And in super simple terms, the blockchain is just blocks of information that are all linked together with mathematical chains, codes. Um, and just think of it like a posh spreadsheet. So the thing that's really cool about the blockchain is it's this posh spreadsheet that critically everyone can see. So if I was to send you some coins, let's just say I sent you some, some Bitcoin, Bethan, it would go from my Bitcoin address to your Bitcoin address, and it would be kind of stamped on this blockchain, this, this posh spreadsheet, for the whole world to see, which means you could never say, oh, Josh, you didn't send me the money. Because the whole world can see that spreadsheet. So like a public spreadsheet, but like a Google Doc. But it can't ever be changed. So once that transactional record has gone through, it's permanently stamped in time and all eternity. Um, so when you boil all of this down and people go, what's this blockchain stuff? Why is it such a big deal? I don't get it. Well, what we've done is we've created a new type of technology that digitizes human trust. And that's a really big deal for business because all of a sudden, why do we need estate agents? What if I want to sell my house? Why don't I just create Josh's house token? I can give you that on the blockchain. Everyone can publicly see that I've given you that token. Everyone can publicly see that you've sent me the funds. Therefore, why do we need any type of party to mandate that? You know, an estate agent just is there to make sure person A does what person B says they're going to do. You know, so in many, many, many business sectors, there's third parties that basically mediate between person A and person B to mediate that trust. But effectively, if the whole world can see what happened between those two people, there is no need for that third party. So this is where Bitcoin came in as a way for two people to pay each other without the banks, without the government, without the PayPal's, without the Amazon pays. And everyone can see that transaction. You know, now we have insurance protocols, supply chain logistics. So maybe when, when the, when the cattle was raised on the farm, what day it was slaughtered, when it went off for packing, what day it was a sell by date on the packet, all of those records of information can be stamped on this blockchain so that any consumer can look back at that and go, Oh, well that happened then that happened then that happened then that happened then. Or in automated insurance protocols, you know, banks and governments and insurances can pay you out automatically because you bought your insurance here. This event occurred here. Now you instantly get paid. Um, so it's, it's a really, really smart way of, um, moving technology around. So in order for this spreadsheet to be updated, a bit like an internet server that keeps your website spinning. So all the, all, you know, all your business owners who are listening now are probably thinking, okay, I'm kind of getting a little bit of it, but where does the money come in? What do the machines do? Well, if you have a website for your business, you need to pay a monthly web hosting fee. So for the past 20 years, people have been paying a web hosting fee. And what are you really paying for there? You're paying for a computer to do lots of geeky computer stuff and provide the power to keep your website online. So whoever owns that physical computer gets paid every single month for leaving that computer running. So similarly, the machines behind me that you can see here, we sell to our customers, to our clients. They can take that home, plug it in, normal internet connection, normal plug sockets, turn it on, leave it running 24 hours a day. And actually that machine will process all the transactions and computer wise, it will effectively stamp that, that, that spreadsheet, that blockchain, it will ingrain the transfer database to the whole network. So everyone can see it. So as a thank you for that service, the company of whichever coin you're providing power to, whichever coin you're mining, providing data to, 
you get paid in as a thank you. So in super simple terms, imagine like you have a very powerful computer and you rent out computer power to Amazon. Instead of Amazon paying you in pounds and pence, they pay you in Amazon shares. Of course, you can sell those shares for cash. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in the blockchain space, our machines provide power to all these blockchain and crypto companies and they in turn pay us a thank you um, for in, in their tokens, which of course we can sell on the market for cash straight away as well if we wish, um, as a thank you for powering the network. So that is how you can get paid just for leaving a machine on every single day. And at the time of filming this, you know, people that are watching this don't bite my head off because the prices change and markets go up and down. But as it stands at the moment, you're making somewhere around 300 plus pounds a month just from leaving a machine turned on. Amazing. And obviously it's all about the value of those coins increasing in the future as the market continues to grow and so on and so forth. But you know, there's some really nice uh, passive income options that are available to people. Um, but often people don't necessarily take the time to understand these things in as much detail um, to be confident. But mm. that said, we have dairy farmers, cattle farmers, people that don't even have smartphones. You know, you don't have to be a computer nerd to, to understand this. It's, it's plug it in, turn it on um, and let us help you with the rest. Is there any advantage to leaving the money as coins for longer? Or... Yeah, yeah, generally speaking. So uh, historically speaking, the cryptocurrency markets continue to grow every single year for the last 10 years. So this is another common misconception that people um, go down is that they say, you know, oh, Bitcoin's so volatile, the price goes up so much, it goes down so much, oh, I'm never going to, it's all a bit too much for me. Well, yes, that's true. But just kind of zoom out. And instead of looking at the yearly highs, let's just go back and look at the yearly lows mm. and the yearly low has increased pretty much every single year for the past 10 years. So we, we only advise people to get involved in this space, um, particularly with the mining side of things. You know, if you've got a three to five year play, not that the machines aren't making great profit every single day right now, not that you've got an amazing percentage yearly return um, at the moment, which is far outweigh um, any other type of investment by multiples. Um, but it's all about, yes, if you earn those coins now, the logic is, is that by this time next year, two years, three years, four years, five years, those coins will have continued to increase in value. So what we've seen historically is, you know, the business has been around nearly three years now. When I say the machine's making 300 pounds a month right now, that implies if you sold the coins at the end of this month. And mm -hmm. um, we've got evidence to suggest that the same 300 pounds that was mined two or three years ago is now effectively worth well over 1500 pounds in some circumstances depending upon which coins and the price you sold them and so on and so forth wow. so yeah so it's all about kind of it's, it's in, in really simple terms it's like having a machine that pays you in shares of your choice okay and, and you can how, keep those shares and sell them at whatever you want in, in easy language and how do you decide which coins to mine again uh this is where we come in as experts for the sector um so you know we don't expect the average person to be au fait with the entire market space. But what our machines do is rather than mine one particular type of coin, they're kind of like the Swiss army knife of the whole sector. They can mine any time and any coin, any time, any place. So we, you know, part of the service again, so people come and buy equipment from us. There's no ongoing fees. There's no ongoing costs. It's all included in the pricing structure. Um, you get access to, to the team. So yes. ultimately we advise people every single however, as often as required as to what the best profitable coin is to mine. We can give remote assistance technologically of moving them over, setting up the wallets, getting all the coins through. I mean, you know, practically we're able to assist in the whole process. I mean, just to put this in perspective, the average age of my clients is 58. Oh, wow. So this isn't some young person's tech thing. This is generally speaking for, like I said, seasoned business owners, um, who understand investments of three to five years are happy to, um, you know, purchase a machine. And I guess that's one of the things as well, which is really exciting is because you're buying physical computer equipment. It's just, you know, a posh computer. So in some circumstances, you know, you can get your VAT back, put it through as a capital asset purchase, um, you know, offset a lot of costs through the business as you would uh, any type of computer equipment. So th there's, there's a lot of very, very uh, tangible you know, advantage to this type of purchase. And subsequently, we've had a lot of people during Corona that have seen their business has been very heavily affected. Um, mm -hmm. And ultimately what that's meant, you know, like gold and silver is booming at all time high prices right now. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is being seen in the same way as the fact that it's a non-geopolitically connected asset class that sits outside of all this world drama. Um, so the prices of those coins have, have done exceptionally well over this period. 
Um, mm. So so people moving into the space have, have, have obviously got in touch with us and we've been very busy. <laughs>